Infectious coryza is a common bacterial disease in chickens. The causative bacterium is Avobacterium paragallinarum, a gram-negative, pleomorphic, non-modal, catalase-negative, and microaerophilic rod. Coryza is an acute respiratory disease of chickens characterized by nasal discharge, sneezing, and swelling of the face under the eyes. The disease has a high level of morbidity, but low mortality. The mortality rate will increase if secondary infection occurs and the treatment is not appropriate. In the mildest form of the disease, the only signs may be depression, occasionally slight facial swelling and a serous nasal discharge. In the more severe form, there is severe swelling of one or both infraorbital sinuses with edema of the surrounding tissue, which may close one or both eyes. This disease can be treated with antibiotics, but healthy carrier birds are the reservoir of infection. Chickens of all ages are susceptible, but susceptibility increases with age. Then, infectious coryza will be a major problem in poultry farms with multi-age systems. In farms with multi-age systems, infectious coryza has the highest incidence rate of disease compared to other diseases. The disease is always recurring in these farms. The cost of antibiotic treatment and loss of egg production is the biggest impact of the disease. Healthy carrier birds is the biggest source of trouble in poultry farms with multi-age systems. So the disease agents are never totally eliminated in these farms. Vaccination programs are not completely able to overcome this. Immunity formed by vaccination is not optimal as there are many factors affecting the level of vaccine protection. But vaccination should be done to reduce the severity of the disease. In commercial layer chicken, vaccination is generally done twice. But for vaccination against Newcastle disease, infectious bronchitis or avian influenza done many times. However, in certain farms, multi-age system, in fact, the incidence rate of coryza disease is higher than other diseases. They are more harmed by coryza than by other diseases. Many breeders have never experienced avian influenza outbreaks or Newcastle disease for 15 years, but they always experience repeated coryza. But they have a vaccination program against avian influenza and Newcastle disease is more intensive than coryza. They should also make a more intensive quarries of vaccination program, like any other vaccination program, because of the farm with a multi-age system that has experienced cases of coryza. The presence of disease agents is a certainty. Choose the right vaccine product and consider vaccinating more than twice.